Good morning, my beautiful. It is Monday. Let's have breakfast. And for breakfast, I'm having waffles and dragon fruit. And of course, my morning elixir, the coffee. So this week, we're going to dedicate everything into painting the first floor. This is episode 10. It is 8 a.m. And let's get to work. Now, before we can get started painting, I have to sand over all the places that I passed previously. And for that, we're going to start off with 120 grit sandpaper and work our way towards 220, which is a finer grit. The reason for this is because when you patch with the compound, it's a little bit rough and so you use a little bit of tougher grit so that way it sands everything off much faster. And the finer grit just smooths everything off and that you don't see the sanding marks when you paint over it. So the electrician came and they rewire a whole bunch of wire for us and so Chris had to patch everything up and now all I'm going to do is walk around the whole house and just kind of sand everything evenly. After smoothing things out, we have to reprime everything and I mean everything, the kitchen, the living room, anywhere that you want to repaint, you have to reprime. We originally were going to paint only a few rooms, so this was just going to be one episode, but now we're actually going to do the whole house, so we're going to split this into three different episodes. See, see when you look up the ceiling, you see which part is suitable to paint it, which is the old. Mm-hmm. Well, the lights were on, you won't be able to see it. I see. Look at that. Oh, that should be scraped off. Well, we're going to start off with just applying a second coat of uh, ceiling paint, which is basically a flat white color. And then uh, for the hallway and the other rooms in the house, we're going to go with a color by Benjamin Moore called Bunny Gray. It's a good uh, mixture between blue and gray. And this is how the light gray look like. Well, it looks white on here, but it's actually pretty dark and gray. This is my first time painting, so Chris is going to give me lots of tips, and he's going to teach me how to paint properly as well as how to cut. And in order to cut, I'm going to use this brush. This is a cut that brush. See, because it has an angle. Mm -hmm. So what you do is use the cut. Because you have to imagine, where can the roller? You see that thing I'm using, the roller? You know, obviously you can't cut it on this, right? So you have to cut and make sure that it's nice and cut. This is a very painstaking process. Okay. But you do nails, so you know how to do this better than anybody. Wow, you can actually see the color different in this. So I finished the um, the window area and then he finished the top part where he cut around the whole top area as you can see before he can start painting and while he's doing the painting as well as the cutting I'm going to go ahead and add a finishing um, first coat to the bottom half of well, those areas it's already been done so you can kind of tell the difference between the white but the bottom half also need two coats so that's what I'll be doing today just finishing the bottom half as he applied two coats to the top half. I went out to get lunch and this is what we're having. This is an avocado shake and this is fresh squeezed orange juice. I'm having the vermicelli combination and he's having like I think salted fish fry rice. So yeah. So the first coat is finally dry and we're gonna go ahead and put our second coat on and then call it a day. I'm going to leave that wall open for now because I still need to run the wires for the entertainment system. Anyways, for appetizer, we are having some papaya with beef jerky and this one special sauce that my mom taught me to make, which I really love, as well as um, egg fried rice with Mongolian beef that I layer on a bed of um, spring mix, which, you know, I try to put as much green to a diet as possible, but that is our dinner. Hello, good morning, it's Tuesday and you can see two color different mainly because we decided to paint the kitchen with this I know it looks green but it's not, it's kind of the tan color because it matched with the wood more but for me today I'm working on the workroom this is the unfinished workroom as you can see it needs to be prime and I'm going to be priming the, both the top and the bottom while my husband work on the kitchen as well as the living room just a finishing coat on that but you can see a different color in priming uh, I use both the cut brush as well as the roller. Um, I have to yeah go all the way in the top, but I decided to do the bottom half wherever I can reach first, and then cut the top half later. But yeah, I really like this two color and how it's almost like color blocking, but it it complements the wood better. I feel like for the kitchen. So, 
Anyways, the medallion, I actually had to prime the medallion and it was so painstaking. <sighs> and apparently my husband said I've been holding the brush wrong, this is how I was holding it and that's wrong, that's why my hands hurt and you're actually so hold, supposed to hold it this way instead. I know, I'm such a noob, but yeah, whatever. Time to get to work. I'm gonna finish the medallion and let it dry. And anywhere that I don't um, or haven't paint is because I have to sand it. And of course this color will go all the way up the stairs, so yeah. I'm going to prime this stairway and my husband is going to try to finish the bottom half today. And yeah, this column has to be um, primed over before we can paint it white. Oh god, it was so much work. It was so tedious. But it is time for lunch. And for lunch today, um, my husband picked up some Burger King. This is the first fast food meal I've had in seriously two years. It is so crazy. I haven't had fast food in like the longest time. But it is looking so beautiful. For dinner, I am actually going to start by eating some avocado. There's two avocado and half um, half a papaya. It actually helped fill me up a lot more so that I won't um, eat as much. And uh, my husband's having steak with Brussels sprout because he likes his meat. And this is a sushi roll that we're both going to share. Just I want to make sure he's having enough greens. But this is Wednesday now, and I'm Wednesday. Um, it's just simple. My husband went to work first. I'm actually still at home at 8 a.m. So I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee along with my pistachio um, loaf bread, and it's super yummy. So the first coat has already been applied. Now I'm going to start coloring, and the bottom is going to be white. The top is going to be gray with um, white trim. And for lunch, we are having avocado shake along with uh, gumba mal, which is three color rice. I think that's like the the most rough translation ever. I just don't know what they're called, but we're having oil with chicken broth, and it is actually super delicious. Since there are so many angles on that wall, I'm going to use a smaller cut brush to cut around it. I finished cutting around the borders, it's time to start rolling everything. Those marks you see on the wall in the corners there are because I had to take all the rosettes off because originally we wanted to go with a single tone. But since in the end we decided to go with two-tone, that's why we're stuck with that mark. There's a color difference between where he cut and where he rolled. It's because he already cut the border twice versus this is only the first coat for the rolling. That is why there's a color difference. But once um, he applied the second coat, everything is going to match up. So don't worry, it's not a blotchy work. It's going to work out just fine, guys. Also, um, be very careful when you're rolling because one of the mistakes that I constantly made was whenever I'm using this roller, when I use a little bit too much paint, sometimes it'll spill or kind of splash onto other part. And when this happens, you have to wipe it off right away. And if it gets onto the white or the opposite color, use a wet rag, a semi-damp rag, and wipe it off right away because once that paint dry, it's permanent. Like literally nothing is going to make that little paint drip come out. So anyways, while Chris is finishing up the room, I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of the medallion with the finishing coat. This this new piece that I just added, that is how it looks prime, and I'm going to use just a finishing coat and just kind of dab on it. And this is going to need two coats, so I'm going to let this dry first, and when it is, I'm going to paint the second coat over, and then it'll be done. Anyways, it's getting quite late. I'm going to show you what the room looks like so far, and then pick it up again tomorrow. So now I'm going to go outside and do the cleanup chores. We have to wrap all of the roller up in bags so that it doesn't dry and then thoroughly clean up all of the paint brushes. You guys see that giant clump of yellow stuff right there on top of the cap? That's because I sprayed foam insulation there to hold it in place. I really didn't want to use screws to screw it into the column so I just uh, went and sprayed some foam insulation and when it dries I just get a sheetrock knife or anything sharp and just cut off the excess so that will hold it in place. The lower half already have two finishing coat and now I have to prime the top and then paint tomorrow. For dinner, we're having Korean marinated steak and just some soup along with Brussels sprout and call it a night. It's really yummy. I like it. Anyways, good night. I'll see you on Thursday. So today, hopefully we can finish up the first floor. Firstly, Chris is going to finish the crown molding on top. He's going to cut all that out and add a finishing coat to the two column. So the first thing we're going to do today is apply on the rosette. Um, look how they look. Aren't they just so precious? Chris is going to align them and re-stick them to the wall. And because he's such a perfectionist, I do not get to do this. Apparently, he has better eyes than I do. But what do you think? Do you like it? 
I like it. And voila, this is the finishing look. This is how it looks when the whole room has the medallion or rosette on. So by now I know you're all asking yourself, why is there a door through the window? Well, what happened was I actually broke the window and so Chris, being Chris, screwed the door to him. Such a waste of the door, but you know what? According to Chris, it was already broken. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and cut the axis off the foam and now the column caps are being held in place just fine. And for lunch, we are having something from Boston Market. This is my first time and I actually really like it. Chris is having the light meat and I like my meat dark. Yum. Uh-huh. Is that why you're marrying me, hun? Oh my god. Now that I finally have some food in my belly, it's time to put the second and final coat into the workroom and call this one finished. And there is the window that Shantae broke. How dare you shine light into this room? Like I said, I did not break the window. The ladder did. We are having Cajun broil king crab as well as shrimp for dinner tonight. I am trying out a new recipe that I saw on Pinterest and honestly, Chris really like it and I do too. I definitely will reuse this recipe for a future video. I actually came to work really late today. I had things to do and when I came, I noticed that Chris has already painted the medallion and on top of that, we're also going to attach this adorable chandelier. This was not our first choice because our first choice was sold out, but that's okay. The light has already been put on and I love it. I adore it. Chris did a wonderful job. Yes, those are actually called wall sconces. Yeah, what he said. Anyways, today we're going to continue and prime, well I'm going to prime, the rest of the hallway on the second floor while Chris finishing up with the kitchen. And of course, um, I already started priming that yesterday, so now I'm going to continue going up to the third floor as well as the hallway on the second floor. The bottom half has already been done. The top half, I wasn't tall enough, so today I'm actually going to roll um, and finish the rest of the hall and hopefully start priming this... Um, guest room over here. Anyways, I'm going to get to work. Chris is applying the second coat to the medallion and I'm going to show you what it looked like so far. Here's how the primed um, second floor looked like. And Chris is going to go ahead and patch all those holes up because I stopped because I couldn't go up anymore. While Shantae was upstairs recording, I went ahead and carried the stove in with another two guys. So it took three guys to carry this 400 pound stove in. And it looks really good. If you guys recall in the last video, the bottom tiles for that centerpiece and the backsplash there was a little bit on the short side, but it was covered up by the stove as I expected. And that is why I laid it up that way. So it's a nice even picture when you look at it. The plastic film where you see at the bottom there is just a protective film covering the stove during transit. Uh, we were supposed to take that off when the house was finally finished, but I got a little bit excited and I wanted to see how the stove looks, so yeah. That's a nice stove. So this is the end result. I'm so happy that the stove is put in. I can't wait to apply the rest of the appliance. And the wall here in the bathroom has already been primed and ready to paint for tomorrow. The drop down lights came in today and then I decided, you know what, I want to put it up and see how it looks too. And so now everything looks so much nicer. Well, let's fire it up and see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good, but I'm going to turn off the light really quick and see how it looks like with the light off so you can see the fire better. Ah, oh, looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. Anywho, this is how the chandelier look. I think it looks really awesome. Wow. The house is looking more like a home. I'm super happy. And I'm gonna quickly let you see how the stairway look like with the light off. Look how nice the gray look. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And tonight I'm having my girls night with my beautiful girlfriends. For tonight, we are hitting up Empire Lounge and Restaurant. Someone locked the door, someone killed the lights, I thought this was the
the one size. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a subscriber and thank you so much for a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of my beautiful girlfriend and more of my hangout, don't forget to subscribe so you're up to date on to my new video and upload. Have a wonderful night and good night.